today we are going to discuss about alternative oxidase aox alternative oxidase is one of the terminal oxidase of the plant mitochondrial electron transport chain it acts as a means to relax the highly coupled and tensed electron transport process in mitochondria thus providing and maintaining the much needed metabolic homeostasis by directly uh, reducing oxygen to water aox is an integral protein 32 to 36 kda of the inner mitochondrial membrane and exists as a homodimer aox is a member of non heme di iron carboxylate family of proteins and uh, encoded by nuclear genes it is localized on the matrix site of the mitochondrial inner membrane electron transport through aox is not coupled with atp synthesis and uh, energy accumulation aox is actually induced not only in response to different environmental stress factors but also as a result of inhibition of the respiratory chain so it is commonly induced by complex one dysfunction complex one of electron transport chain and by other uh, disruption in respiratory metabolism such as inhibition of atp synthase uh, synthase uncoupling of uh, electron transport chain and uh, inhibition of uh, tca uh, cycle next is structure of aox the plant aox is an interfacial membrane protein approximately 32 kda as i already told you and oriented toward the matrix side of the uh, inner membrane you can see here matrix part inner membrane intermembrane space so aox is oriented toward the matrix uh, side of the inner membrane and coupling the oxidation of ubiquinol to the four electron reduction of water to uh, sorry oxygen to water aox of plants exist as dimer and is the post translationally regulated by alpha ketoacids and uh, succinate aox has non heme di iron center you can see here two iron atoms and two membrane spanning helices these two connected by single helix at the uh, intermembrane space so non heme di iron carboxylate family of proteins are distinguished by an iron binding matrix consisting of six conserved uh, amino acids next is genes coding for aox aox in higher plants is uh, encoded by a small family of nuclear genes like aox1 aox2a and aox2b the presence of aox form uh, the striking functional difference between mitochondria high plants and animals that is presence of two uh, terminal oxidases aox and cytochrome oxidase so aox is encoded by mainly two nuclear gene subfamilies aox1 and aox2 the aox1 gene is most widely known for its expression by stress stimuli in many tissues and is present uh, in both monocotyledonous and uh, eudicotyledonous plant species aox2 this gene is usually expressed in eudicotyledonous uh, species but is absent from the genome of all monocotyledon species expression of aox1 gene is highly responsive to abiotic and biotic stress as well as uh, dysfunction in respiratory metabolism aox2 genes are generally not responsive or at least much responsive to such conditions next is working of aox just look at this diagram you can see here a normal uh elect mitochondrial electron transport chain with complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 4 and complex 5 complex 5 is also known as atp synthase complex so complex 1 nadh dehydrogenase it couples nadph 
uh, oxidation to reduction of the ubiquinone pool. Complex 2 succinate dehydrogenase of the TCA cycle is the further supply of electrons for the this ubiquinone pool. So electrons in ubiquinone uh, are then passed to complex 3 means cytochrome C and finally to cytochrome 4 cytochrome oxidase which catalyzes the 4 electron reduction of oxygen to water. So AOX you can see here AOX it branches from the main respiratory chain. This is main respiratory chain at the level of ubiquinone and catalyzes the 4 electron reduction of oxygen to water. So actually just look at this diagram. AOX is induced by different environmental stress factors. So stress, environmental stress factors like in insect infestation, drought, salinity, metatoxicity, temperature, pathogen. So all these are environmental stress factors that uh, uh, lead to metabolic malfunction like uh, production of reactive oxygen species, reactive nitrogen species, citrate accumulation, electron transport uh, uh, gene complex dysfunctions. Then these all means uh, leads to induction. This all metabolic malfunctions cause uh, induction of AOX. So, so once this uh, AOX is induced, it prevents excessive mitochondrial reactive oxygen species, uh, reactive nitrogen species, then uh, production uh, by maintaining carbon pool homeostasis, then uh, redox state homeostasis in nitrogen assimilation process, and also energy state homeostasis during uh, mineral iron uptake. So AOX provides the plant respiratory system with inbuilt uh, flexibility regarding coupling among the carbon metabolic pathway, then ETC activity and ATP turnover. So AOX does not pump protons. I can see here, AOX does not uh, pump protons so the transfer of electrons by AOX does not generate a transmembrane potential uh, and the drop in the free energy between ubiquinol and oxygen is dissipated or wasted as heat. Next is physiological role of uh, AOX in plants. So alternative oxidase is a non-energy uh, conserving terminal oxidase in plant mitochondrial electron transport chain well respiratory carbon oxidation pathways here electron transport and atp turnover are tightly coupled processes so aox provides a mean to relax this coupling thus providing a degree of metabolic homeostasis to carbon and energy metabolism besides their role in primary metabolism Plant mitochondria act as signaling, uh, uh, signaling organelle is able to influence process uh, like nuclear gene expression. Then AOX activity can control the level of potential mitochondrial signaling molecules such as superoxide, nitric oxide and uh, important redox couples. In this way, AOX also provides a degree of signaling homeostasis to the organelle. So everything suggests that AOX function in metabolic and signaling uh, homeostasis is particularly important uh, during stress. So these stress, uh, these means include abiotic stresses such as low temperature, drought and nutrient deficiency as well as the biotic stresses such as uh, bacterial uh, infections, right? So this is all about alternative oxidase. Thanks for watching. Thank you.